GCSE Physics Paper 2, uh, six markers. As always, don't rely on predictions, but learn what's come up in previous years. Now, just like for Paper 1, if you do separate science, you're highly likely to get at least one question about a required practical. Combined science, uh, you could definitely get one as well. So for Paper 2, the required practicals you need to know um, are as follows. So the first one is to do with Hooke's Law or force and extension. Uh, the second one is to do with acceleration or sometimes force and acceleration, and uh, which is Newton's second law. Uh, the third one is to do with... With waves there's two versions there's one waves on a string and there's one waves in water in a ripple tank um, as a required practical an infrared radiation that could be absorption or admission uh, emission sorry uh, and the last one which is separate science only is reflection and refraction of light so only you need to know that if you're doing separate science let's have a look at the years and how many times each one has come up so 2018 uh, combined science which hooks law um, separate science was acceleration 2019 uh, there was just one and separate science about waves. Uh, 2020 had reflection and refraction and also combined science had acceleration. Uh, 2021 uh, you've got waves and ripple tank and Hooke's law again in combined science. 2022 had infrared radiation and refraction and 2023 last year's paper combined science had acceleration and separate science had refraction. So you might also get these required practicals in non six mark practicals um, in which case uh, the tot uh, totting up each of the times they've occurred gets even higher. Now, what other questions could you get with a six mark tariff? Um, you could get uh, ones about stars if you do separate science. So this has come up a couple of times in previous years. So star life cycle for this specification came up in 2020 and 2022 as a six marker. Uh, combined science, I've also had a six marker about stopping distance, um, which could come up again. Uh, in terms of extra, in addition to this, um, it wouldn't be that surprising if you could have one about the electromagnetic spectrum or comparing waves. So for example, comparing uh, ultrasound to x-rays or comparing um, uh, different top parts of the EM spectrum uh, and then you could also get uh, a six marker about anything to do with motors or generators or generator effect usually there's a four or five marks so revise them anyway that could be a six mark question so make sure you revise these things